Hello friends. This is my first tutorial on Entity Framework Core. And here I am going to show you step by step how we, how we can make a database using Entity Framework Core code first procedure. Let's create a console application. Now I am going to add a class library in this project. Okay. Now delete this class. And I am now going to add three classes in this class library named school teacher and student let's create class class school let's take some properties Uh, ID get set name the date teachers. Now I am going to create a teacher class. Same as I am going to take declare some properties. school id and i'm going to take a student list here now i'm going to create a student class public integer id Okay, done. Let's consider the relation between school and teacher 
are one to many and teacher and student have one to many relation okay now i am going to add some no get packages let's go to no get packages browse microsoft sql server click this one and install it it will take some time takes too much time actually okay starting okay it will take some time Okay, I accept. Now you can see all the references will automatically installed in this reference part. too many references and that's why it takes much time okay done now I'm going to install one more no get file tools this one okay install same as it will take some time starts I accept now references of this no get files are installing okay done now I am going to create a context class let's take another class and i am going to give the name of this class my context okay make it public db context using microsoft.entity framework core uh, 
public db set school schools get set teacher teachers student students okay okay <clears throat> now i am going to add a connection string just write override on override void on configuration on configuring now i'm going to add my connection string use sql server integrated security and I am going to give the name of my database is my school DB now I'm going to add a migration go to tools no get package manager package manage console okay select class library and I must this library as a startup project now add migration first migration Enter. <clears throat> now migration process is start and here we can see a folder named migrations automatically created and here we can see two files In first migration, we can see the table names and its properties here. Okay. And mapping part is generated in snapshot. Now, if I will open our SQL server. then we can see my database my school db not created yet to create that one again we need to go console manager package and write update database Farbos enter now it doing its operation okay done now if I refresh my database database part then we can see a database name my student DB where we can see the tables, the students, teachers, and the schools. In this way, we can make a database using Entity Framework Core.
कोस्ट फर्स्ट कोर्ट फर्स्ट प्रोसीड्योर थैंक यू ऑल फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो